Originally, I believe Zach Berkman contacted me from Epic, and uh, I had been doing some things at the Lark as well. I'd been directing, and and um, Zach said We're, we want to have a six-hour rehearsal with an actor, and we want to hear this play and have a public reading of it. Would you be interested? And um, so there were two of my favorite companies, Epic and Lark, and I said yes. Well, let's see. Uh, Joel was a year ahead of me in graduate school, so in, we were in acting school together. We never did anything together. I saw him in a in a play. We call them free play, and I thought he was fantastic. He had done a show with another person, and it was like a one person thing. And I thought he was great. And I saw him shows at NYU and everything. But the thing is, is we have a common language, and we know all the same people. And I think that I can say to him something like, you know. What would Paul Walker do? And he's like, Oh yeah, right. I mean, he'll get that. And it's a real shorthand, so it's really a useful, been a useful collaboration. And I have a big crush on him. Who wouldn't? My aunt is a Quaker, and, uh, and she lives in California. And I've known about Quakers for quite a long time. She had a Quaker wedding, which was really beautiful. I was eight, and I was really inspired by that. And what I was inspired by, um, that was in Santa Cruz, California, and it was under the redwoods. And um, I was really struck as a young person by the silence. Um, I didn't quite know what was going on, really, but there was something so spiritual about the whole thing. So when I was thinking about this play uh, and thinking about how we might be interested in it, working on it, um, I thought, well, we should just go. We had one designer that we could work with in the prototype, and that was a sound designer. And there was something I was interested in was the sound, actually the quality of the audience and the quality of the sound and the energy beforehand and how we get into it. So um, myself and Joel and Daniel went to a Quaker meeting and I was really struck by the fact that everyone was sitting in a circle, all, all sides looking at each other, and that we just walked in and nothing was said for about 20 minutes, the first 20 minutes. And it was pretty extraordinary. And there's this concept of expectant waiting that I had read about, and I wanted to know, I wanted to experience that and know what that was like. And so we've tried to put that into the piece a little bit, and then it became the concept for, well, what if what if it was in the round? But you can't really do a one-person show in the round. It's tough. He, has to, he would have to keep moving the entire time, and people would see his back a lot, so it wouldn't quite work. But we started talking about the simplicity of the Quaker meeting and the aesthetics of the Japanese culture and, began, and put those things together. Well, it's less of a challenge than it is a joy, because when we did the workshop of this at Dartmouth, say three years ago, Joel had never worked on the script. We had five days, and what is here now is um, basically he created these little, you know, thumbprints of all of the characters at that time in a five-day span. So he's really creative, and he's very smart, and he was able to put all these things together. The challenge just came in, how do we go from one to another, the transitions from one to another, and how do we keep it simple without hitting you over the head with all of these different characters? Well, to be honest, I didn't learn about this in school at all. So I didn't know about the internment camps. I didn't know about the camps till fairly recently, I mean, within the last 10 years. So it was a new discovery for me and um, learning, and I knew nothing about Gordon. So it wasn't until I did that first reading at the Lark with Epic that I had heard about the story, and it so struck me as he wasn't a, f a fiery fighter, but he wasn't passive either. And there was something, and that one of the things that I was trying to capture between this production and Joel's performance of it was capturing the spirituality of it as well.